Why, hello there, and welcome back to my daily long play stream, where I do a playthrough of my current game for a couple hours from Sunday through Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As you can see, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm playing it on the Xbox One courtesy of Game Pass. I'm going to get signed in here so we can get through this fairly long loading screen. So, yesterday, what did I do yesterday? I, um, <laughs> kind of can't remember, uh, but let me see here. It was the day before that we had that uh, balloon flight. So, yesterday, I, um, oh yeah, I helped a, um, the leader of a local native tribe uh, get his peace pipe back. I did not do so non-violently like he requested, because, uh, Involved a stealth mission, and I, I, I hate stealth missions. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I also helped that same tribe recover their horses, and now Dutch has got them filled with some rather crazy ideas about um, the son of the leader of that tribe. With some crazy ideas about getting revenge. I don't know. I, I think Dutch has gone off the rails, and everyone knows it except him. But regardless... Here I am. Uh, and yeah, well, we'll see what happens today. I am in chapter 6. And this is an, this game has 8 chapters from what I understand. The last 2, 7 and 8, being epilogue. And if they're anything like the epilogue in uh, Red Dead Redemption 1, well, we could say that some, things are, some major things are going to happen at the end of this chapter. Game changing. Character changing. But we'll see what happens. As you can see, I'm where I left off on this very nice looking lake. This is a very nice looking game. I'm running it on an Xbox One X. So I'm seeing a very nice native 4K image. Running at a mostly stable 30 frames a second. Pretty stable. And on a nice old 55 inch OLED TV. And it looks real nice. Most of that's not going to matter for the purposes of the stream, but when I do get around to posting some high-quality 4K HDR footage of this, after I beat it, of course, you, okay, boy? you might uh, begin to understand why this game looks, why this game has such high praise for its visuals. All right, let's take a look at the map here. See where we're at and see where we need to go. As you can see... <laughs> There's a whole lot of red on the side of the map, where I'm wanted dead or alive. Now, so far, that hasn't caused me any specific problems yet. But it's only going to be a matter of time before it does. So, we have here some missions to do. But old Strauss always wants our debtors to pay us money back, and I'm not interested in doing those missions anymore, so I'm going to say no to that. Got Edith, who probably needs some more help. Oh, we got to make sure she left Annisburg. That's all right. We helped her son get out of that mine. We're supposed to meet with Micah. Steal explosives from an army, army convoy. Sadie's down here in St. Denise, and she needs to speak to me. Goodbye, dear friend. Okay, that sounds ominous. Maybe we should save that until later. And then down here we have um, Penelope Braithwaite. So I think I'm going to go here. First of all, it's not in wanted territory, but in addition to that... It's a side mission that may not be available once I go down here and deal with this mission. So, yeah. I'm going to have a nice long ride ahead of me. And thankfully, this will not take me into wanted territory. So, let's get going here. Idiot. By the way, I am keeping an occasional eye on the chat here. This is a live stream. And I'm trying to get better at responding and interacting with people who tune in. Not that there's actually any tuning required. 
any case, um, but just to give you fair warning, it might give, take me a minute before I notice and, and, and am able to respond to any comments left in the chat. So if I don't get you immediately, give me a minute, and I'll get to you when I can. Issue is that my um, chat monitor is to the right of me, and I spend the vast majority of my time looking at the TV, which is in front of me. If and when I get around to altering the setup, I'm going to set it up in such a way that the ch uh, I'll have a chat monitor that is closer to eyesight. So I can respond to stuff quicker. That is not yet. That is not yet. I have some ideas of how to make that happen, but... I don't know how realistic they are. Bunny! So I think I am going to get um, The Last of Us 2. I think I am going to get that. I did enjoy the first game quite a bit. Although I did have a lot of difficulty when I played that game when it came out uh, in the early sections. The sections that take place in Boston. So much so that I had to stop playing and take a break from it. But when I came back to it, I managed to force myself to get through those early difficult parts. And I enjoyed pretty much all of everything that came afterwards. There were some sections that were very difficult. Especially the part where you're playing as um, the girl. Ellie, I think her name was. And uh, basically any time where it sort of forced you into stealthy situations was <laughs> grueling for me. Like I've said repeatedly, I'm not into stealth or stealth games. To be perfectly honest, on the surface, it seems that Red, that um, The Last of Us is not up my alley at all. It's a zombie game, not really interested in those. It's a stealth game, not really interested in those. It involves a lot of crafting, not into that. But still, I think the game came together much in such a way that it's much greater than its parts, and I ended up enjoying it. Because I found the story compelling. I found the characters compelling. Now, I remember when they first announced The Last of Us 2, and even well before that, after the first one even came out, uh, talk amongst the folks at the Bombcast, GiantBomb.com, about how they didn't think there needed to be a sequel. And they felt that the game should stand on its own. I never really understood that point of view. If, it, if a game is good, why not want more of it? Why not want a sequel? Worst case scenario, it ends up being bad and you just ignore it. I don't see how a sequel damages the original game. This is the same guy again. Yes. Relax. Oh yes, praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you. You must be my guardian angel. I hope I'll get a chance to repay you someday. Uh, I won't hold my breath. Okay. Well, that pretty much confirms I've already freed that guy from one set of chains. It looks like he hasn't learned his lesson because he keeps committing crimes that results in him getting arrested. <laughs> I 
The good news is, for me anyway, is that I'm near the end of this game, which means hopefully by the time The Last of Us 2 actually comes out, I'll be ready to start a new game. And I have nothing else in mind that I really want to play at the moment. So, um, yeah. That's what my thinking is. Now, even though I bought the PS4 version of The Last of Us, shortly after I got the system, the PS4 Pro, uh, I'm probably not going to ever do a full playthrough of that game. I played through the first one on the PS3. Uh, six and a half years ago, almost seven years ago, I'm not sure. Shortly after it came out. Late 2013. So, as a result, I'm kind of not in the mood to do a full playthrough of it again. But I will pull some 4K footage of it this week. Call it and me posting in anticipation of the new game, the new one. Oh, we'll see. That's the plan, anyway. Looks like I'm near my destination. Now this manor, as you can see, got destroyed. An old lady Braithwaite herself went hysterical at the sight of her home being burnt to the ground. Completely understandable, of course, but um... I don't know what happened to her. Oh well. I wonder if we'll run into her again. Now, I'm not wanted in this area for that, that, but that doesn't mean I can be complacent. I should keep my wits about me. Also, my horse needs a little maintenance, so how about if I do that before I head over here? What's up with the music getting so tense all of a sudden? Oh, oh, you came! You came! You finally came! I came. Oh, thank you, thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her! They killed Miss Calhoun! All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They're animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo? Why couldn't he come rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. Ah, uh, where's the horse? Ah, there it is. So we're going to ride her to the station and roads. Here's a thought. Here's a thought. Hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway 
station. Shouldn't we go to a train station that's further away from roads? Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. Oh, believe me, I saw the house. Boys killed. So much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Great. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he? I guess but so. I don't know. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. Hey, someone in the chat. I'm How's it going? Sorry, sorry if I missed you. He's a lot of things, but strong like you but strong enough to stand up to his family to be different from folk you don't know how hard that can be to say something is wrong when everyone around you thinks it's right no perhaps i don't but he is a good man he's lucky you're both lucky to have each other how's it going be the best day of Oops. my life or the worst i can't bear not knowing which there he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Ah, uh, fine. fine. I can only hope that things go this smoothly. You came. You came. <laughs> At last, you came. Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope. Whoa. They glitched for a moment. How can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, oh, cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. <sighs> can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. But good to see you. Oh, great. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn snooping. I knew this wasn't gonna go well. I'll come back here without giving you a whip. We should have done this last time. Get on the train. I've never been what good at the hand-hand -hand combat in this game. Look like a moron swinging and missing like that. I'm just sort of tapping B here. Thanks, I appreciate it. Ah. Why haven't you fallen down yet? Fall down. Ah. Hello, future. All right, all done. That is quite a family. I know. 
charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect, good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were, when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly youth. Great. Well, I think it's my second cousin. These goddamn cousins. I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. Deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn fun. They're coming from over the hill. You must be. I guess I'm permitted to use lethal, lethal force in this case. How many of these cousins are we going to have to pick off? By the way, um, if you could give me a uh, little assistance in the chat for a moment. Uh, could you tell me how my audio level sound? If my mic is set correctly, if it's uh, sounding good. Or if I need to turn the mic up or down or something. I'd appreciate it. There we go. Yeah, it must be my horse. Apparently not. He's running away. Is that the last of them? Okay, this is um the mic level's a bit low. Uh, you let me um let me uh, make I turned up the gain a little bit. Won't let me ring the bell. Hmm. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna assume it wants me to go s more slowly around this bend here, especially on this bridge. I increased the gain on the mic a little bit. I don't know if that made a difference. My setup is far from professional here. What in the... Oh, those are bison. Okay. Oh, man, I thought they were like... Something else. Hopefully, set to go to the left. There we go. Oh, well, after driving a hot air balloon a couple days ago, driving a train seems rather pedestrian in comparison.
I'm still fiddling around with my um, mic arm here. I had to reattach it. It came loose. So I had to tighten everything up. Uh, not so great from the first person, is it? The visibility on this train is terrible. These are some nice views, though. Look at that. Oh, good. It's finally going to cinematic mode. <laughs> but, if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. And I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives. They would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That briefly, Jack. You know what? Maximum or minimum honor level. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, you carry protection on the journey I did? I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I did. It goes everywhere I do. Hey! Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to us until the ride. On count of treasure, I'll be perfect. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. Well, yeah. Cool. Does the stream look alright, I guess? I only have it running at 1080p, as that's all my um, upload bandwidth will allow. Let's see here. Uh, I guess I missed it. Let's take a look here. Uh, okay. That's a little odd. I could have sworn that we were heading into St. Denis, and yet we went the opposite direction. <laughs> I'm actually closer to Blackwater at this point. Oh, dear. What's, um... Oh yeah, that's right. I agreed to help Captain Moore out. I guess I'll go up there then. Since I'm about as close to there as I am to anywhere else, really. Alright, horse. Um, before I hop on, let's... Um, let's see here. Yeah, this should do it. Yeah, when I'm feeling less than 100% healthy and in need of energy, I always down an entire can of corn. In one gulp, no less. Ooh, a rainbow. Cool. What does it mean? 
Ooh, almost missed my turn. What is going on with this path here? Sorry, horse. Okay there, boy. Let me just get set it to auto ride. I don't trust my navigation skills here. This is the type of game where you want to savor and soak in the environment as you ride through it. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm close to either the end of the game or... Jerks. Alright. Yep. Now if I had some um some dead eye, that would have been a lot I would have dealt with that a lot more smoothly. Let's see here. Do we have any Anything that restores both health and dead eye. Slightly, okay. It's uh any more of that? That should do. Just in case that happens again. Ooh, look at that view. Kind of reminds me of the misty forest that um that the master sword is usually located in in Zelda games. Imagine a Zelda game with um this um, level of uh, graphical fidelity with this art style. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm playing the I'm playing the story mode on this. I've never been into Rockstar the online modes in Rockstar games. I played a tiny amount of GTA 4 online back in the day and didn't like it. Never touched GTA 5 online and no interest in um, the online modes in either of the two Red Dead games. To tell you the truth, I haven't really spent all that much time playing online games at all last year or so. My streaming schedule doesn't really allow for it much. Whoa, what the heck happened there?
Oh, crap. Take a tonic, I guess. I am on chapter six right now. That's the second time I've been interrupted while riding to this destination here. <sighs> the downsides of having an auto ride is it's much easier to be caught unawares. What if I switch over to the pistol here? The revolver, I mean, might make it easier to react more quickly. Oh dear. I suspect oh, I'm in need of some cold weather clothes here. I suspect that the uh, mission that's down in St. Denis to meet up with Sadie is going to be some major pivotal turning point in the story. And as such, I kind of want to do that last. I want to take care of these other missions first. I don't know for sure if that's going to be the case, but I think it is. The title of the mission says, Goodbye, Dear Friend. That to me sounds like someone's going to walk away dead. But we'll find out when we get there. This game has a kind of an annoying habit of having mission markers with um, character names on it that have nothing to do with the mission. One time I went to talk to the Reverend who said we needed to talk to me and ended up the mission had ended up having nothing to do with him. Dutch came in, interrupted our conversation, and I went on a mission with Dutch. To be perfectly honest, these mission markers might as well not even have any names attached to them. Because they're often deceptive. Okay. Another legendary animal. I have not been interested in the hunting or fishing or any of the side activities in this or in the first game. I'm almost certainly missing out, but I'm okay with that. Excuse me. Okay, I'm close.
All right. The horse is um, not wanting to really go any faster, so let's uh, just head over here. Excuse me. Vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. Hmm. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of disease. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Mr. Morgan, you must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We sure to shall. Now come. All right. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Let's go get ourselves some vaccines. How so? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation and maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. Rod has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well. Just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for it. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morton. But I must ask you, please be discreet. Oh, great. You really cannot afford more conflict. Another so stealth thing. Can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Babers. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Babers has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. Great. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Hmm. That sure sounds familiar. That sure sounds familiar. guy keeps letting me almost overtake him. I'm supposed to be following him. I can't see a thing. Good man, Mr. Morgan. I 
volunteer to this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is? Save us all. A lot of bother. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Yeah. All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Yeah. All right, let's uh, navigate our way down here. Here's a thought. Just in case. Ah. Now the game didn't exactly give me any instructions as to how to pull this little heist off, so I'm gonna have to um, improvise, I suppose. Honor level went down. Oh well. I had gotten it up to maximum, but ain't maximum no more. Oh well, whatever. For the greater good, I suppose. Never seen a run out of ammo. Almost never, anyway. Uh, he's probably not going to like the fact that I shot those two guys, but... He complains, I'll say the game didn't tell me what to do. I suppose I should have just jumped onto the back of the wagon. Try to steal his stuff while they were hopefully not paying attention and then jump off of it. Yeah. Threatening didn't do any good. Some nice music in this game. Very calming for the most part. Yeah. It's 
been almost an hour and I've only done two missions so far. A lot of traveling involved. I suppose that's what happens when you do missions that are on opposite sides of the map from each other. See. Get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. All right. Let's take a look at the map here. Excuse me, and let's take a look here. Have this guy down here. I don't know who that is. Micah, Edith, Strauss. What's oh mission back at camp? Yeah, I think I'm going to hold off on doing this one as long as I can. Well, since um, my business on this side of the map seems to be concluded for the moment, uh, I'm going to head back to camp and talk to this guy. Besides, that is actually the closest mission to my current location. Yeah. Now, you think being at night like it is, will I be more likely to run into trouble on the way there or less? I don't know. I guess. Take a look at the map here. How close are we? Not very. I 
But there are some hostiles near me, so how about if we get a hurry? Okay. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Uh, right back at this spot, eh? Soda. And there's a dangerous path, but it at least it's it's at least it's a scenic one. The question is, how long do I really want to put off what I perceive to be the end of the game? Do I really want to do a bunch of side missions, or... Do I want to, um... Just get to the end of it? I think the next game I'm gonna do is, um... The Last of Us 2, when that comes out. That's still a week away, at least. I haven't even ordered it yet. <laughs> Hopefully we're getting close here. That's wonderful. What in the heck is that up there? That Hollywood style lettering up there. Look at the map. Where are we? Well, I'm about to cross into Wanda territory, so I gotta definitely keep an eye out. Fortunately, I can't pay off the bounty for this area. Wanted dead or alive. Which means there are gonna be some half human, half robotic cops coming after me saying, dead or alive, you're coming with me. Jab me in my eye with a spike, a data spike. Yeah. How messed up would it be if Robocop just showed up in this game? is clearly not happy with what it just saw. I don't blame it. Yep. Yeah, you all right there, boy? <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Trying to calm this horse down. Here. I don't like waking up in this place. Good morning. 
horny locker. That kid has had a messed up childhood. Come on. I um I was uh leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Rat. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no, let's not get over sentimental. Well, place is quiet. Get out of here. You owe my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Is that it? Doesn't seem like much of a mission. My cord is being tangled around my feet here. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Ah. Sir. How are you? The real meat and potatoes of this mission. I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I have made progress. Broker in peace. Have you now? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? We got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I can make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tried members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got it. I've saved your life. Do it for me. All right. Sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Not that I want to break it down to the most obvious and ultimately relevant part, but this does almost certainly mean we'll have to go back to the very spot that we just rolled all the way here from. I also have some kind of meeting in there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. You will be at the meeting and as one person who knows the true situation at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Mm, we'll see. Forgive me for having doubts, but so far no mission has turned out as well as it could have or should have in this game. At least it's giving me a nice cutscene leading me to this part. If I'm very fortunate, it'll give me another one back to the camp. <laughs> give me a drink of water here. Chasha kill it now. Kula which young people. 
beyond beef potato. This way. All right, that must be the army camp. I can't tell if their camp looks better or worse than ours, but whatever. tent seems a little unnecessary here. It's a gorgeous day in this game. Colonel Fairs, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Uh, <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <laughs> Breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. Sure you do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... <coughs> you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? Your gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's uh, Reigns. Yeah. Chief Reigns. It's quite a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. Yep. Feel better? Yeah. Come on. Let's go. The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me. Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. All right, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. If I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, Vigo. Yep. I don't want to kill this man, but shout at me. Talk to Captain Monroe mount up now. We're getting out of here. Don't be dumb. Ah, 
Oops, almost run right into that tree. Well, things did not go well, as always, but... Oh, crap. I was about to say, but at least we got away scot-free. Nope. That's not true at all. Yep. I don't see them. Dag damn it. Where are you guys going? Yeah, you're telling me. This may not be the right gun for this situation here. Right in the face. Well, I'll do the killing for you then. It was always going to go wrong. go. Nice and neat, kind of. I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. <laughs> yeah. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for trees. You can't die for those fools. What about the chief? We'll do what we can. I guess I won't be submitting my report. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. You could say that wasn't a very favorable uh, negotiation. Thanks, I do try sometimes.
All right. Well, we have some medicine in our pouch. We can be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here. Start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thanks. Jump on a train in San Denis, jump on a boat. We're aboard Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. Oh, what's he doing here? Going somewhere? I'm leaving. Where are you going? Running away. I suppose so. Yes, I'm running away. I try to make Dutch see sense. He's, he's very strange recently. And my women? Little Jack? Leaving them? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. I understand. You're, well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad either. Everything will be, your journey, your path will be just fine. I seriously doubt that. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I felt that way for a long time about myself. I mean, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. On board. Be well, Reverend. On board. You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out different. Hmm. At least he's not wasted all the time like he used to be. The good reverend finally sobered up. Funny, there wasn't much in the way of conversation with that mission. You go get into the satchel here. Okay, so what was it? Um Ginseng and uh, something else I had to combine. I don't know. We have to look that up. Why don't I go meet up with Micah? Is actually the closest mission to me anyway. Yeah. 
<clears throat> you know you're in trouble when your home base is in territory where you're wanted, dead or alive. Strangely enough, though, I haven't actually run into any trouble from the law during this wanted period. Technically, you could call the army the law, but uh, not quite. Oh dear. All right, let's get going here. Okay. That guy was trying to rob my horse. Thankfully, I reacted quickly enough. We need to stop here for a moment. This horse needs this horse needs some tending to. So I need some tending to. About some pineapple. Yep, I'm a litter bug. Any um Oh yeah, this stuff. This stuff is good for a dead eye. Cool. Small pal. Yeah. Squirrel. Excuse me. Now, uh, what in the world is that? Looks like a fort of some kind. Yeah. Which means it could be trouble. Pick up the pace just in case it does. Ah. Okay, that's a rare old track. Got it. I'm just gonna go around this guy. Yeah. Easy boy. Trying to keep my horse calm here. This looks like something. This house has seen better days. Is this the new campsite? <laughs> No more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. That's so 
Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <coughs> or... <coughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief. Way your head. Micah, shut it. He started it. Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. So now we're going back to Blackwater. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke, take it easy. You can do with a vacation. Hmm? <laughs> ah, make sure I get a nice view of the horse pooping. All right. All right, let's go. What? Hopefully, Bill was in a better mood than Micah is. How could you tell they were the Pinkertons? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Really? You're the one scared off by a couple of Pinkertons. It's not like they have radials to call us in. Just shoot them. What city is this supposed to be in real life? Okay. Let's hold up here. Whoa! I got off the Sorry. horse automatically. So going up here then. I don't think I can do the dead eye targeting in um, sniper mode here.
Okay, come on. Into my repeater. Nah. This gun is not as good on horseback. Switch the pistol here. Apparently I'm wanted. Oh, I forgot to put my bandana on. Already wanted dead or alive in this area. What in the world is going on here? I can't... I don't see them. may have seemed a bit excessive, but that's what I need right now. Excuse me. Coming through. That's not polite. <laughs> Just in case it isn't obvious, I'm not the one driving this swag in here. Added. Let's um, get a little health back here. Okay, what exactly am I doing here? Got the stuff, didn't we? I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. 
There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Okay, so we go meet up with John then. Okay, horse, I'm sorry. The things as always did not go well. Meet up with John. Where is John? Eh. Uh, I don't see a marker for John. Hmm. Maybe I'll maybe it's something I'll pop up eventually. The only story mission I have left is down here. Hmm. Looks like there's a twenty dollar bounty there. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and pay off that bounty, and then I'm going to meet up, check on Edith, and see if she's cleared out of town yet. I'm going to guess she hasn't. I don't know. I think this will probably be the last uh, mission that I do today. not just the law that I'm wanted by, it's everyone. <laughs> yep. That's my boy. New Hanover will be notified. All right. Oh dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around. That's all. Anyway, how can I help you? I, I always tend to plow right through doors at post offices. It always scares the crap out of everyone inside. It's not intentional. I'm just always in a hurry to try to pay off a bounty, and it inevitably ends up happening. All right, um... Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and say she is not left town.
Mm. Alright, where is she? Heard someone talking over here. Maybe that's where I should be looking. She's too high and mighty to take money. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, sir? That way. Around the woods towards uh, Willard's Rest. I see what I can do. All right. All right, we're going to need to hot get on our high horse here and head over there. Get off your high horse, mister. I ain't horsing around here. All right. Let's um Thought this was leading me. No, no, I'm just going the right way. Another rainbow. Cool. Groovy man. Hug a rainbow. Okay, let's uh, see what's what. the trail yes it is my very little use tracking skills is a horse of course now where is its rider Suffering from my foolishness, but don't go and get yourself killed. 
because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Down. I think she knows that, but okay. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? You loved him. <laughs> All right. Actually, I thought the idea was to get them out of town. Ideally, we take them to the train station, give them some money, make sure they get on the train, and leave. Get back to the road here, or the trail, I'm whatever. Sorry it had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Have someone who can still be helped. I help yourself. I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Yeah. And as always, it is very difficult to see at night in the fog. All right. And great, I feel another headache coming on. When I'm done with this stream, I'm going to have to take some measures to deal with that. Ah, oh, look, I got the gold medal. <laughs> Looks like it's a pretty binary um, result there. Either you get the gold medal or you get the... I guess the bronze. There is no... Um, option for a silver. Well, I'm going to try to get back to camp here. <sighs> try to get back to camp, and then I'm going to call it a stream here. I like to limit my streams to about two hours a day. Ooh, my head.
Not sure if that was a dog or a coyote. Yeah, I think I ended up getting a decent number of these missions done here. What was it four or five of them in one day? It's not bad. Though I'm definitely running out of options uh, for that. I see an, a marker on the map for a John, so I guess we'll go there tomorrow. Yeah. I'll do that tomorrow. Come on, camp. Where are you? <laughs> He's all the way over there. I mean, at the very least, I do believe I got all the other missions done today that I wanted to. I guess I could help wherever this is, but I'll see about doing that tomorrow. Uh, this should be the camp up here. And it is. Yay. Well, folks, I think I'm going to call it a day. But before I do, I just want to take a moment to thank you for watching. I appreciate when people take time out of their day to watch my streams and videos and such. As um, unprofessional as they are. As lack of, lacking in flash and substance, really. But just as a quick reminder, I do a stream like this. Almost every day, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Sunday through Thursday. Where'd he go? I don't know. He left me a note. Told me I should do the same. Why? Well, I think he's worried. <laughs> he's right to be worried. You worried? Sure, but I still think maybe things will turn out okay. You, you'll steer Dutch right. I know you will. I'll try, Mr. Crashaw. Really, I will. Hmm. <laughs> she has more faith in me than I have in myself, apparently. But yeah, I... So that means I'll definitely be back here tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., for more Red Dead Redemption 2. I do a retro stream on Monday night, 8 p.m., and a modern stream on Wednesday night at 11 p.m. Those are, again, Eastern Standard Times. So tomorrow night... Being Wednesday, I'll be playing a little the uh, Wolf Among Us on the Xbox One, a game I got a few years ago as part of Games of Gold. I was supposed to do it last Wednesday, but scheduling conflicts, lacking of energy, blah, 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 whatever. Lots of excuses. I'm always full of excuses when I miss a stream. But I, will, I do plan on doing that tomorrow night at 11 p.m. And I do 4K and or HDR uploads on Fridays that usually publish on Saturdays. And this Friday I'll be uploading some footage of The Last of Us for the PS4 I'm not much of a in 4K. So really Probably like the first hour or so of the story of that game. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Let me take a look at where I am as far as um, almost 70% of the way through the story. Yeah, that pretty much covers it. I'll see you back here tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for more Red Dead Redemption. And tomorrow night at 11 p.m., again, Eastern Standard Time for some The Wolf Among Us. And until then, take it easy.